Now, about two weeks ago, a mysterious video of hundreds of yellow-headed blackbirds appearing to fall from the sky surfaced. Now, the video showing some of them dying got social media buzzing, leaving many unanswered questions. The cause of the deaths remain a mystery. Now, to help us understand what might have happened, I'm joined by Arjun Amar, who is the professor, Associate Professor Fitzpatrick Institute of African Ornithology at the University of Cape Town. Thank you so much for your time, Professor, this afternoon. Let us just start off with what actually could have happened when these birds fell out of the sky to their death. Well, obviously, we've only just got this, um, I think it's a security camera footage, so we can't be 100% sure, but I think basically the consensus is that this is a, a flocking bird species, and they occur in quite large flocks. And what's probably happened here is, is a predator has attacked them, most likely either a, a falcon or a hawk. My um, guess would be actually a falcon. And uh, they've moved collectively as the falcon has attacked them from above. And so they've all moved in a sort of traveling way downwards. And unfortunately, the ones at the bottom have, have collided with the, the hard, impermeable surfaces of, of the urban environment that they found themselves in. Now, you mentioned that issue of what the, the actual bird is, but it's not the first time, isn't it, that we have seen the birds just falling out of the sky like this and actually dying. Um, how can it actually be explained, and does it happen often? It doesn't happen very often, no. The, you know, these birds have evolved to, to flock in these large groups. Uh, it's quite an amazing thing to see. Uh, these large groups and how they move with that collective behavior mm. um, and they you know they've evolved over, over a long long time to be able to move together and avoid the predators but obviously sometimes mistakes happen and obviously from an evolutionary perspective there wouldn't have been hard surfaces you know so these birds would have been more likely to be roosting around swamps and these sorts of things so if they made a mistake and collided with the ground, they might not necessarily have died. But here, within a, this, this species is, is hanging out in an urban area, and obviously the consequences then of hitting the ground are, are far greater because it's a lot harder. Mm. Could it have been some kind of poison that um, maybe caused them to, to die like this? Well, I mean, I have seen on social media this sort of speculation that that, that's, that, that, that is what's happened. But... We can't be sure because you don't see the predator and, you, you know, it's just a, a little snapshot of a, of a camera. Mm. But, but I think it's very unlikely that all, all of the behavior and the way they're moving at, at the start and the way they move downwards all looks identical to what would happen if a, if, a, if a predator like a falcon was attacking that flock. So I think that's, we can't be sure, absolutely, but that would be the best guess for most people, including myself. Mm. So the guess then would be that they were possibly being attacked by this falcon and they were just trying to get away, really. And they, they, the impact that they hit the ground with, that's what caused their deaths. Possibly. Exactly. And, and, and that happens all the time. So mm. if you, it's a great place to go if you know where these flocks occur. Um, you know, lots of species flock. And, and it's a great place to watch predators uh, hunting, uh, hunting these wild birds uh, because it happens all the time because the predators are attracted by these flocks. Um, and, and you'll often see them hunting them. So it's not an uncommon occurrence at all to have the predators attacking flocks. It's just that relatively rarely does, does a mistake like this happen and the birds actually collide with the hard surface. Sure. Now, we do know that we need birds for agriculture. What should our relationship be with birds um, in really in general? Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, birds play hugely important ecosystem services. They provide services to, to us. They, they control pests, for example, uh, and some of them in some places even provide pollination services, just like bees do. Uh, birds around the world provide a whole host of other ecosystem services. So, for example, vultures here in Africa, you know, they are, uh, they call them the cleanup crew. You know, they, they get rid of uh, dying and diseased animals that have died and, and otherwise would be lying around. And we've seen the consequences in other places around the world when, when populations of birds do collapse. For example, vultures in India, they collapsed, and that's caused huge consequences um, in India for an increase in feral dogs, for example. Um, and so we really don't know the consequences when we lose these species from the environment, but when we've seen it happen, it, it, it's really quite bad. And so the issue, of course, of these birds, if something like this does occur, what should we then do? do what should we touch the birds can we touch the birds yeah i mean I I if we are correct in the th thought that this is a is just an unfortunate accident with a predator attacking them then there is no toxins involved and i, I believe that there are 
um, uh, toxicology studies going on on, that, on, that, on those uh, birds as post-mortems happening. And that's happened in the past. So, for example, the same thing happened for starlings in the United Kingdom a few years ago, and, and they conducted toxicology result, uh, results and um, uh, tests and also post-mortems and found that it was trauma that killed those birds. So they did fly into, into concrete, um, as opposed to any high levels of toxin or poison. And I would suspect that that's what will be found here if these birds are tested. Uh, June Amal, who is the Associate Professor at Fitzpatrick Institute of African Ornithology. Thank you so much for your time and helping us understand what has taken place there in Mexico.